G'day guys, welcome to Rumble's Fish Room. It says 42 degrees outside, so let's go in the fish room and find something fun to do. Um, at least with the fish room, it's just always 29, so when it's 42 degrees, you go in the fish room to keep cool. When it's 10 degrees, you go in the fish room to warm up. Um, I kind of thinking, I'm kind of thinking about moving the peacock bass tank today. Um, let's go assess it and see if that's what today's video is about. I guess you guys already know by the title. All right guys, so I actually had to put a siphon on this tank and redrain it because the other day in the video, I forgot to turn the automatic water changes off. So this tank actually filled back up. But um, what I want to work out is how much we can actually move this over. Now, it might actually be up to you guys to tell me. Because, uh, it's kind of what I suspected. We can only move it over like 30 millimeters. Can you guys see? One thing I did in this room is on the corners, I made like a capping out of PVC. Uh, I guess. Um, I can pull it forward and over, but I can't pull it straight over. Do we do it? I don't know if this tank's going to move either. I got no idea how hard it's going to be to move. Look how messy it is. Um, I don't think the peacock bass have been eating all the food. Standard peacock bass, when you move them to a different tank, they don't eat for a while. Alright guys, so we're draining. I've got a tub for the fish. Um, I want to put the fish in the tub when it's like really low so that way they're in that water for as little possible as little possible little time as possible I want to show you a drain pipe I made up I'm pretty proud of it oh, this is like jungle gym um, so I made a pipe that goes on the drain pipe and I found an elbow and a 45 and I built this pipe and I'm going to keep that for draining tanks because that it's not glued so I can rotate that and I can actually sit the pipe on the bottom of the tank and that way between that and having the vacuum we can completely drain tanks but I am low-key hoping that just that siphon is enough to drain this tank and I don't have to um, use the vacuum I saw a couple of comments saying I should have bought the bigger, bigger model of the vacuum. The vacuum was actually a present, so I'm just making the most of what I have, and um, uh, I think it would be a cool video to do a DIY modification to it anyway, so um, there's a little blessing behind the fact that it's small, the fact that we can actually see how we can make the most out of the small version. <laughs> All right, guys, look how big the fish look in that 60 litre tub. <laughs> I don't want to leave them in there too long. so. Um, I've drained the tank to this position. I haven't vacked it with the wet dry vac, but I just had a bit of a grip with my hands and it feels like I can move it. So I'm going to get the tripod, set you guys up and I'll see if I can move it by myself. So it's literally like a jungle gym. I'm climbing across ladders and buckets of fish to get to the other side to cross my merry way. What was that? Oh, my head hit the... <clears throat> Alright, so that's out far enough <clears throat> to pass the piece that I was talking about earlier, the piece of resistance. I wonder if I can get like a hammer in there and just wedge it across. I risk splitting the fiberglass, but... <sighs> Joys. Mm. 
All right, I might come back to you guys once I come up with a plan. All right, so I've moved it a bit. I managed to get a broom handle behind it. Um, I've put a bit of a dent in the side of the tank, but I think that's it, guys. Now the scary part, can I reach? Yeah, I've got plenty of reach there. All right, so. I think I might vacuum it. I've got the attachment for the wet dry vacuum. We might use the wet dry vacuum as a dry vacuum for the first time in its history. So let's set that up. All right guys, so for some reason, that fitting there doesn't fit on that fitting there. Um, I must be missing like a connection piece that I might have accidentally thrown out, but this gray hose fits perfect. So um, that works. I could have grabbed a piece of 25 mil PVC as well, but the gray hose is putting in work. This is a little bit damp, so I'm gonna turn the vacuum on, run it for like a few seconds to dry it up because we want no moisture in here. So the only thing that sucks is we can't actually see where the water was coming from. But I can see like the hollows in the black silicon or Sikaflex. So I kind of know roughly where to go. I'm gonna go to town in there. It's not gonna be pretty at all, but obviously this nine foot fish tank pushes right into that corner. So um, who cares what it looks like at this stage. Um, pretty frustrated with it and this is my last attempt at trying to fix it before we actually take the tank down which is a logistical nightmare because I need to find homes for four colonies um, and it won't be like an overnight home it'll be like a three four day home so yeah you can imagine how tough that is when I've got as many fish as I do all right guys I'm just gonna have to silicon it and show you after because not only can I not get in there with the silicon gun I can't also bring a camera with me. So um, just imagine me pulling this trigger and like slowly walking along, swearing at it a little bit because I can't actually get the gun in there very well and all that jazz. And like your imagination can probably predict exactly how this is going to go. All right, guys, I absolutely loaded it up. We reckon we'll give it a bit more light. Probably doesn't really matter. But um, so you see how wide that thumb is? That was me trying to clean it up a bit because I piled so much in. Um, I really got in there. So you see that like white line next to the black? That's the gap between the glass and the and the wood. So there definitely was no, the Sikaflex wasn't thick enough in there for some reason. Um, and then you can see where it turns black. That's where the Sikaflex was enough. And I know that the leak is lower than that because there was no watermarks up the top half of that. All the watermarks were down low. Um, I'm pretty sure when there was water in it, I could kind of think I could see the water leaking like one inch up from that bottom. Um, obviously, this is from the outside where we're repairing it. It's a tiny little pinhole, so there's not gonna be huge water pressure pushing on it. Um, we've got bulk silicon there. I reckon this is like an 80% chance of fixing the leak, but obviously you guys know the deal if it isn't fixed, it's a big job. The, the reason that, it's, that I can't fix it any better than that, I'll show you, is actually because, hang on, zoom out, 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 out. There's only, a, there's only a 300 millimeter gap between the roof and the top of this tank, and I can't actually fit my body up in there to get behind there to like massage the silicon in with my thumb. Um, 
and I was hoping the leak was here because see how the black is gone from there? I presume this was the wetter spot and that's where I concentrated my last repair on but the water was actually just running down and pooling there. Um, but anyway, now I've got to try and move this tank back but I don't have that nice wood spot to um, lever. Alright, tank's back in position. Let's go get the jar changer. Um, I'm probably not going to fill this tank up, up. Just, I want to fill it high enough that the filters are flowing. Um, the only good thing is it's 42 degrees today, so this water will be up to temperature. It's not like I'll be putting the fish back into a cold tank. Uh, it'll be nice aged, climatized water. Um, luckily they're nice big fish, so um, you shouldn't really bother them um, going into fresh water. I gotta get that, see that power cable? That's not what you want in the water. Man, it's taking forever guys. Uh, you think your pump like really puts out some serious water volume, but all you gotta do is throw the pump on a nine by two and a half foot tank and um, it takes age, ages even just to put like a hundred mil of water in. I've got the fish back in there. I've got the, well that's all I've got back in there and the water. I didn't take the filters out or anything. I didn't even turn the air off. So um, my pretty much, as soon as that filter there gets any flow coming through, I'm turning the hose off and um, it'll just fill back up with the automatic water changes. Um, the reason for doing that is I'm just trying to limit my water usage, obviously. I don't even know if we've got enough water out here, because that's like, yeah, we should do. Oh, we've got a thousand litres, guys. We've got plenty. Now we've got more than that. We've got 1,200. That there. We're at 600 litres times two. Yeah, we've got 1,200 litres, guys. Yeah. Um, I only use like a thousand litres a day and there's two thousand litres there so as long as we don't put a more than a thousand litres in here we shouldn't run out for the day. Yeah, yeah, you heard me right guys. This room uses one thousand litres of water a day. <laughs> My water bill hates me. Anyway guys, anyway guys, I'm sure you can use your imagination to imagine that having more water in it. That's the only thing you're going to be missing out after this video. Um, because I'm going to wrap it up right now. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe for more, hit that little red button. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.